and welcome. We are in Switzerland in Lauterbrunnen and this is the first day of skiing. So we're getting ready for breakfast. I decided to have a pretty good breakfast ready for a big day of skiing. So I had a pancake with lemon. No, not with lemon, sorry, with honey. On this day, I'm going to explain to you now just because the video does slightly go downhill. There was an accident with my father. You will hear this at the end of this this day as well but basically he got into a bad skiing accident right at the bottom of the slope and broke his back and was in hospital for about two weeks after and so with these videos I did not have the mental strength to keep like talking to you guys and things so I decided I'm just gonna do a voiceover of basically what happened that's why there's not very many skiing clips as well my dad's helmet was the helmet with the gopro like attachment on and his helmet got smashed there's a massive crack down it and i wore it on the last day and risked it for you guys because i did the world cup run which you'll find out at the end of this video but yeah so we're currently in Morin skiing and it was really really nice the weather was beautiful this entire trip however over this side it was really really icy which is why the accident that happened was so bad but yeah it was a really nice trip it was so nice and we had afternoon tea so every day we were afternoon tea so i had banana bread to it this day and a cup of tea or was that coffee that might have been coffee actually and some bread uh, toast and jam and all that jazz then we had tea so we had a beer some appetizers these were like fried coriander which was really nice this is strong enough which was absolutely delicious so good with some sort of sorbet if I remember correctly so yeah so I just had to come and speak to you it's almost quiz time but I just thought I'd come and speak to you so today an incident has happened i.e. why being very quiet on here not really filmed much I didn't take my GoPro out anyway today just because first day back and all that jazz um, but an incident has happened within my family um, being out here I'm not going to say anything about it just because it is personal information within my family but if the video does kind of go downhill that is why I've got other things in my mind other priorities etc but I will keep you updated if anything does happen that you need to know about basically but right now I've booked me and my mum onto curling on Tuesday which I'm going to film for you guys it's my treat. I'm getting it for me and my mum as a treat. Um, so yeah, we're doing curling. I'm very excited. And tomorrow we're going out skiing. We're going across to a different area. And I will be taking my GoPro actually with me, I think. And be skiing. So I'll show you that. But right now it's quiz and then bed. So I'll speak to you after. It is Monday morning. Yeah, we start skiing on the Sunday. But yeah, today's Monday. I had a decent breakfast again. Fried egg and toast. The classic. The normal. Here is my skier gear. I was really comfy. I had lost a bit of weight right before coming on this trip. So my pants actually fit me. Which is a really funny thing. But yeah, that's my ski outfit. And this is the village. We're currently waiting for the train. It takes 40 minutes to get up to Kleiner Sky Deck. Which is where we start skiing from so yeah it took 40 minutes to get all the way to the top but this is the view it's so beautiful going all the way up to the top and i miss it so much i am coming back here for sure and the company we went with was skiing girl if you're curious they're a really good company they did guided skiing which was free and we went on every day and it was amazing because me and my mum were in two separate groups not this day because i stayed with my mum but the rest of the week i was in the faster group and yeah it was really nice so here we're just relaxing whilst we're waiting for the other group to come because we're a bit early for lunch we decided to have lunch we didn't every day but this day we did we had this pizza from this place and this is the best pizza i've had in a long time and me and my mum shared it we got a small just because we didn't need much we got the train all the way back up to the top to look to the time i was like we're just gonna go all the way back down basically we went into Grindelwald which is the opposite side of the mountain so you had to get the train all the way up it takes about 40 minutes and it's 40 minutes down the other side so a lot of journeying happening in this area but the skiing was fantastic now tea we had onion soup basically their oven had broken this day so a lot of the food wasn't the greatest but it was still really really tasty even though the oven had broken 
and this was crumble which was all my days it was so good the crumble it was absolutely delicious and then this is tuesday we had scrambled eggs and toast and a coffee of course because i cannot sat there without coffee and it was pancake day i forgot it was pancake day so i also got pancakes i got two because there were so many left over and this is what was waiting for the train again like always yeah, they're waiting for the train. And we actually got the gondola all the way up to the top, which was absolutely stunning. The queue in here was busy, to say that apparently before, like the couple of weeks before this, it was empty, but it was the French half term, we assume. So that's probably why, but it was really, really nice. And this game, as you can see, is amazing. You can just see the sun and yeah, it was fantastic. I would recommend if you're a skier to come here. It is a bit expensive because obviously like that's the Eiger, you're in front of the Eiger. But yeah, like this Fanta cost me five euro, no five Swiss francs. But it's what you expect. And then that night we went curling, I surprised my mum with it because of what happened. I thought we need something to do to relax and have a bit of fun. So that's what I booked and it was really, really nice. My mum really enjoyed it. We got a beer afterwards which was really nice. I finally like a beer after this trip <laughs> and it has everything to do with this. Then at Petit we had pate for a starter which was really nice. This potato thing with a bit of salad and some bacon which was delicious. It was really really nice the food and the mid eaten mess which I haven't had before because my dad hates um, meringues then we were going today on the wednesday to see my dad so we had to go from in all the way from Lauterbrunn into interlaken interlaken to ferns which took about two hours altogether and cost about 50 swiss francs there and back but yeah i was we were at the postcards on the train i read my book which is really really nice and when and i actually had some of abby's who's our ski hosts uh welsh cakes because it on was well on tuesday it was st david's day as well as pancake day and we didn't get the we didn't we were doing we had because of the curler we didn't go back for the like afternoon tea so she saved us them which was really really nice though and then when we were on Burns, I see my dad, me and my mum found this coffee place and went for a coffee and a pretzel just because we needed to relax and this was really, really nice. I really want to go back just to this place because the cakes looked so good but we didn't know which ones had nuts on not in because my mum's allergic to nuts, so yeah. Also, we're on a double-decker train. A double-decker train, like, how incredible is that? I wish we had them in the UK, it would make life so much easier, the more people could get on the train and it would be great, but yeah. Can I try some? That's surprisingly nice. Is it? Oh. It's safe made out of way. But it also tastes like nothing. In a way. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing, but doesn't have a taste. And it's made out of cheese. Then I had, we went to the shop and we got some bits and bobs. We got that variella that you just saw. We got this apple pastry thing, which was really, really good. And then for tea, because on Wednesdays they have the day off, the chalet people. It's like that most places in the chalets. So we got a takeaway, me and my mum, because we didn't want to have, and everywhere was either shut or really expensive. So we decided to get a takeaway. This all together cost us 30 Swiss francs, which wasn't bad to be honest because most meals for one person cost about that much, so it's pretty good. I got a tiramisu when I was at the shop that day as well and it was spectacular. Then on Thursday, I had another fried egg, of course. And then we went over to Grindelwald's side, which is took, I think, almost two hours just to get there, but it was incredible. The snow was brilliant. It was soft snow. It was a bit slushy right down the bottom. But that's because it's March, like that's what you expect. But to say it was March, the scheme was really, really nice. So we went here. I was very kindly bought a bottle of Coke by some really lovely people and a Mars bar, which was really, really nice of them. I found these Canopa bars when out there in Switzerland and I haven't been able to find them since in the UK. I know you can get the wafer ones, but not the bars. And these bars are delicious. 
They're so nice. They're basically the knuckle what wafers but in a bar form. They're really nice. And just down here actually where we all were, I didn't show it. But it's the world it's the steepest red blue run I've ever seen in my life. And I it looked harder than the blacks. Which was mental. But yeah, we also got lunch here with the big group because we were skiing with this other group that was quite a few of them. So I got a portion of chips because why not? It was it was really nice. I love rice broth, they're so good. But yeah, we're just waiting for the bus here, having a, we had a beer <laughs> and relaxed in the lounges because that's what you do when the sun's out. And then the like cake thing that one was was chocolate and I had a coffee as well and it was so good, it was delicious. And then for tea, the tomato soup with these masses piece of bread which was really really nice. We had smoke no, we had salmon, rice, kinda like Thai style and it was delicious and I don't like salmon. And then this lemon cheesecake which was so nice, it was delicious. I miss their food to be honest, it was so good. And then on Friday we we're back to Clannis Nyagag and we just did some runs around there and we actually did the lout up running which i'm not haven't shown just yet but it will be the next one on so the first game bit you're gonna see is when we're on the black run all the way from the top of, top of the Iger express which was incredible and it was just this really nice black run down the blacks weren't too hard here i think they were more like hard reds in my personal opinion and yeah the skiing around here was either really hard or really easy <laughs> there was no kind of in between but yeah this is basically the the blacks to me were like hard reds and it was really really nice skiing and then the next run that you're going to be seeing is the last running not the last running the last last run anyway it's the world cup run and i I'm going back to do it again because it was amazing. It was just a hard red, but yeah. I will let you watch this game. Need a bit of you every time I 
drink like a lie.
now it's time for us to go home. So this is the Saturday we were going home. There isn't much filmed because it was very, very stressful because there was me and my mum with three bags. Basically, we had three people stuff with two bags and we were like coming on. So it was great. It was very stressed. We got ourselves a coffee and then the next time I filmed was in Manchester Airport collecting the bags and coming home because that's all I could film this day. It was too stressful.